Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I'm gonna show you about four switch non-inverting buck boost converter design and simulation using LT Spice. Okay, so I'll explain how this circuit works, how you can design this circuit in LT Spice, and later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different waveforms. I also change the duty cycle i will alter the duty cycle and i'll show you what is your output voltage irrespective of your input voltage uh, this circuit can step down step down your input voltage and this circuit can also step up your input voltage okay so so you can get your output voltage greater than your input voltage or else you can also get your output voltage less than your input voltage okay now let us understand how will you create this circuit in ultra spice and how i have created okay so so if you look at this block so i called this block as a buck leg okay you see here this is buck leg if i say the buck leg you see your high side switch is connected to v in and wherein i have connected 12 volt okay so i read the right click on here and you can see here this is the dc 12 volt maybe you can write 12 volt okay and i used one uh electrolytic capacitor 100 microfarad and if you remember the circuit diagram of buck converter so your high side switch is connected to your vcc or input voltage then you have your low side switch in some cases people use this diode as a low side switch but but uh, for the freewheeling purpose but here i am using the mosfet as a low side switch the buck switch and i call this as a buck rectifier so this is basically a buck leg and this is i named this as a boost leg okay and for in order to do that i call this m3 as a boost rectifier and m4 this one as a boost switch let me correct this it's not boot boot it's boost switch right so so this is the boost rectifier and this is the boost switch so boost rectifier works as a buck pass fit and and you see here this buck switch works as also works as a boost pass fit i'll, I'll explain how i name this boost pass fit and this buck pass fit so so at this switching node vs1 and vs2 between vs1 and vs2 you see i have connected to one single inductor the value of this inductor is 4.8 micro handy okay and then at this point the drain of this m3 i have connected the output c2 this output is i'm take, taking uh 12 divided by 12 that means one amps current okay so let me explain how will you define the gate driving for high side your high side switch and your low side switch so your m1 and m3 are the high side switch and your m2 and m4 are the low side switch okay so so if you see this is buck switch this in in buck converter switch you need in order to drive the switch you need to have the high side gate driver and in the boost converter if you remember in order to drive the main switch you need low side driver so basically this m1 needs high side driver this m4 need low side driver driver and this m2 need low side driver and m3 needs high side driver okay so what i have done here is i have created some param let me zoom it for you so this is dot param dx dx i called is a duty cycle let me delete this for a moment okay so i call dx as a duty cycle and the dot param fsw is switching frequency i'm driving this mosfet with 250 kilohertz and this dot param did is the dead time between two switch now if you if you remember the 
the transfer function dc transfer function of buck boost converter that is given by v out equals to v in times dx that means duty cycle divided by 1 minus the same dx let me correct this i was doing something different so that's why it, you see the different values here okay now i corrected this and what i also have done is i have created the gate driving pulse so this is the gate driving pulse if you're copying this circuit you might need to use the same gate driving otherwise your circuit won't work okay what i'm gonna do is view let me zoom fit okay so so high side gate driver low side gate driver high side gate driver and low side gate driver you can copy this pulses in your lt spice file to so so that your circuit will also work okay you can copy this and now what i'm gonna do is i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the the different waveforms okay so if you look at this i have created one theoretical waveform v theory if you apply your transfer function dc transfer function formula what would be your output so i have created one variable voltage source and if you look at v equals to v in input voltage multiply by duty cycle divided by 1 minus duty cycle okay dx divided by 1 minus dx so we'll compare what is your theoretical value and how much you are getting with your buck boost design so that you will have better understanding whether your buck boost converter is working fine or not now let me run the simulation and show you the waveforms so in order to run the simulation go ahead simulate edit simulation command the transient time is 10 millisecond click ok then run button go at window tile window vertically okay let me show you the different waveforms now so i'm i'm not gonna show you the output voltage directly i'll show you a step by step so that you can have the better understanding right so first i'll show you the input voltage it's 12 volt you see here okay so your input voltage is 12 volt now i'm gonna show you i'll delete this and i'm gonna show you the the signals gate driver signals okay so this is high side driver and this is low side driver okay it's not clicked let me show if it is coming yes now for this is high side driver and this is what happened let me show you the low side grade driver okay so it's not coming here so let me show you okay let's see if it is coming switch one and switch two here here i see switch three and switch four yeah it has come now okay let me zoom right so that you can have a look okay so you see here you, when you switch S1, this is on, this is off, and when this is on, like this is on, this is off. So both MOSFET M1 and M2 are working in the complementary function. Okay, and here as well, M3 and M4 are working as a complementary function. Now, before I show you the waveform, let me show you how this circuit works as a buck regulator and how this circuit works as a boost regulator okay so let us say you want your your input is 12 volt and you want 5 volt output your this circuit has to work in the work mode okay so in order to work in the work mode your mosfet m1 and m2 will be turned on in the in the complementary form that means once your m1 is on m2 will be off when your m2 is on your m1 will be off so so to get to work this circuit in buck mode what you need to do is you have to always turn on this m3 okay so this m1 and m2 will be on and off complementary and this m3 has to turn on always okay and in order to work this circuit as a boost mode what do you need to do is your mosfet m3 and m4 are turned on in the complementary manner while your m1 has to turn on always okay this has to turn on always and this has to swing 
on and off okay so now let me show you here let's go back again and let me show you the voltage maybe i'll go again the window tile window vertically okay let me show you now the switch voltage switch node voltage let me show you here so this is your switch node voltage okay and now here let me show you the inductor current okay so this is your inductor current guys you clearly see your inductor current it has very big ripple here right now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the output voltage so i'll maybe delete this plot pane for now and let me show you the output voltage okay so this is all your output voltage right this is your output voltage and let me show you the theoretical output voltage okay so what you see here is what you see here is your duty cycle is 0.5 that means if your duty cycle is 0.5 and if you do some calculation here your output should be 12 volt and that's what i see the theoretical value but if i go for the simulation result and i see the the operation of this bug boost converter how how this work boost converter works and if you see here your output is quite less okay this is 10.65 there is some losses here we need to model the components very thoroughly okay so but still you see your your, your theoretical value is 12 and you see here your 11.6 uh, 10.6 sorry the output voltage okay so so more or less you are you are getting your output now let me change the duty cycle to what 0.1 that means you you are now reducing your duty cycle to 0.1 less than 0.5 let's see how what happens at output okay so i have reduced the duty cycle to the 0.1 okay and let me hold this simulation and what you can see here is okay your theoretical value is 1.33 and your actual result is 1.22 so more or less you are getting your closer value now let me change this duty cycle to 0.9 right let me change and let's see what happens okay okay 0.9 is too big maybe there is some limitation okay so if i change the duty cycle to 0.9 i see my theoretical output is how much it is 107 volt but what i'm getting here is only 43 volt that means you cannot get that much output voltage let me in spite of doing 0.9 let me do 0.7 and let's see okay so let's see pingo yeah this time you have the clover gel result okay 0.7 if your duty is 0.7 let me hold this okay here i see the 28 volt and here i see the 22 volt so more or less when your duty cycle is 0.5 let me do it again for you when your duty cycle is 0.5 this circuit works in a buck boost mode okay so remember when your duty cycle is 0.5 this circuit works in a buck boost mode okay that means you whatever your input voltage you will get your same output voltage okay because your duty is 0.5 your duty if is less than 0.5 this will works in a buck mode and if your duty is more than 0.5 it will work in a boost mode okay so let me show you the output current as well so that you can see your output current is around 0.88 amps and so so guys i hope that you have understood about the four switch non-inverting buck boost converter you can use this circuit and you can simulate how this circuit works you can see the different voltage current current waveforms if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video